Let's cut to the quickie. In 1966, Peter Wason said an interesting problem. Take a look at these four cards. Now, here's a given. Each card has a letter on one side and a number on the other. Now, here's the hypothesis we want to test. If a card has a vowel on one side, it has an even number on the other. The question is, what cards do we need to turn over to test this hypothesis? Now, of course, you could turn over every card, but not every card will demonstrate whether the hypothesis is true or false. We only want to turn over the cards we need to test the hypothesis. So, which card or cards do you think that is? Feel free to pause the video and take a minute. Before I give the answer, understand something. In Wason's original study, less than 10% of respondents, all of whom were college educated, gave the correct answer. A later survey of skeptics, people who should understand how to test a hypothesis, only had about a 16% success rate. So, maybe you should take another few seconds to think it over. Most people easily figure out that you should turn over the A card to see if there's an even number. But most people also think you should turn over the 4 to see if there's a vowel. You shouldn't. Because even if you found a consonant on the other side, that wouldn't falsify the hypothesis. The corollary of, if a card has a vowel on one side, it has an even number on the other, is not, if a card has an even number on one side, it has a vowel on the other. It's, if a card has an odd number on one side, it should have a consonant on the other. To put it more simply, the corollary of, if x then y, is not, if y then x, but, if not y, then not x. Note that hardly anyone turns over the D, even though there might be an even number on the other side. So they understand that a combination of a consonant and an even number tells you nothing, yet they tend to miss that when they see an even number like the 4. The other card you should turn over is the 7. If the hypothesis is correct, there should be a consonant on the other side. If there's a vowel, the hypothesis is falsified. And this is why falsification is so important. Confirmation bias can lead you astray.